friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to design a PWM signal with different on and off period in MATLAB Simulink. So let's begin. I already opened my MATLAB environment and I will start a new Simulink model. Over here you can select a blank model. And then first and foremost you can save it. You can give it any name, say for example PWM signal.slx file. Yeah. So steps are simple. I've already shown in my other videos as well how to create a uh, PWM. But in this, I'll focus how to create it of different on and off period, not of same duty cycle. So I put a clock and a uh, rem block, which is basically the remainder block. And then I'll put also switch block. And yeah, the output of this remainder will go in this and then a few constant blocks. So one of them will could be uh, will go as an input to this one, the other one will go to input to remainder, and the third one will go to as an input to this one. Yeah, this one we may have to change to value two because okay. So initially I'll show you with the constant on and off, and then I'll show you how you can customize it very easily. I'll make it a scope variable, a scope and probably make it of input to no I'll change the layout also to probably to yeah perfect I'll close it for a timing and the output of this I'll probably give it to the second one and the first okay I'll bring it some sort closer yeah this is better and I'll bring the output of this as the output of the this remainder block so that we can see how much is the uh, remainder from this clock. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I can run this node and see. So I'm guessing it will be okay, it didn't produce me the desired results. I was expecting a PWM signal in the second one, and the reason for that is the threshold should be set to one because if the remainder is greater than one, then only it should do that. One more thing I am missing out is setting it to zero because it has to go back to zero, right? Yeah, perfect. So now if you can see on the right hand side in my scope, I am getting a PWM signal, but that's a fixed cycle on and off, right? One second up, one second down. What if you want like of a different cycle? Say for example, two seconds on and then one second off, or so and so forth. So I'll show you for the two seconds. So for that, you'll have to change this value to three. That's all because now the remainder 3 will take it from 0 to 3 and uh, the switch block over here is checking the threshold at 1. So let's run it again. Perfect. If you notice now, this off period is only 1 second. However, the on period is for 2 seconds. Of course, you can extrapolate it for if you want for 10 seconds, 5 seconds, uh, on and off or whatever time period you need. So that's all I wanted to show you that uh, uh, this is a PWM uh, signal with different on and off period. Yeah. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.